So you can use the properties of adjacent angles to figure out missing information. So I've set up a little problem here. Uh, we've got Math Ceratops with three rays protruding, protruding from his mathematical genius mind um, as he contemplates the universe through geometry. And um, so I've got this problem here. Uh, and this means angle DAB is 80 degrees. Um, and w in the uh, So you go like this, angle D a B. That's the angle formed by the points D A B. Uh, the one in the middle, the point in the middle, signifies the vertex of the angle. So, angle D A B means this angle here, D A B. So this whole thing. So this is 80 degrees. So let's write down what we know. Um, 80 degrees. I'm going to write it. Um, like this, 80 degrees, or maybe I'll, or maybe I'll write it like this. That could be that's clear. DAB is 80 degrees. Okay, angle CAB is 30 degrees. Um, so A is the vertex. So we go CAB. So that means uh, this angle here. Let's let's switch colors. This angle here is 30 degrees. So I'm going to draw it like this. Thir 30. OK. Angle CAB is 30 degrees. Um, angle DAC is question mark degrees. So that's what we want to figure out. DAC. Um, so this and we'll switch colors yet again. Um, this question mark um, degrees, and let's call that. When there's a variable and you're talking about degrees, uh, it's pretty typical to call that theta. So that's a fancy letter for you. It's a Greek letter. You can impress your friends with that. So what we can do is um, we can use the fact that we know how adjacent angles work to set up a little algebraic equation. So adjacent angles are angles that share a side and share a vertex but don't overlap. So angle CAB and DAC are adjacent um, angles. Um, they, they share this side, AC. And they share a vertex, A, but they don't overlap. Um, so what that means is since they share a side, that their two angle measurements will add up to the full angle angle measurement um, um, that includes them. So in other words, this this 80 degrees is 30 degrees plus the missing information. Or because we know that um, angle DAC and CAB are adjacent, we know that um, DAC plus 30 degrees will be equal to this full 80 degrees. So let's set let's set that up. So we've got theta, that's our unknown, um, plus 30 degrees is equal to this full 80 degrees, the full angle um, that they both make up, 80 degrees. So theta plus 30 degrees is equal to 80, degree, uh, 80 degrees. So what plus 30 is equal to 80? Um, we could eyeball that and say 50. Or we could do a little, little algebra. Um, we want to get theta by itself, so we get this 30 out of here, subtract that away. And since we're doing it on one side of the equation, we have to do it on the other. Um, so I'm subtracting 30 from both sides. This, we're left with just theta. Um, 80 minus 30 degrees is equal to 50 degrees. So this angle measurement is 50 degrees. 50 plus 30 equals the full sweep, um, the 80 degrees um, that they're both a part of here.